We try to help people our level best according to our capacity. Allah says in the Quran, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا ما أتاها. Allah does not ask anyone to do anything beyond that, what they can afford and what he has given them an access to do. There are some people who are very demanding and emotionally black you. I go to the masjid sometimes I feel like I don't want to go to the masjid. Let me pray in a faraway masjid. Because there is a line of people, my daughter, my sister. Then when I investigate, I find out that they're wealthy. One of them wanted me to help him with 13 grands. Then I figured out that he has two businesses and he's doing very well, etc. Some people when I asked, Akhi, whether I have or I don't, whether I can afford it or I cannot afford it. You give those whom you trust and if you have a person who is demanding, emotional blackmailing you and you know that he does not deserve, then put your sadaqah, put your charity where you believe it will benefit most. It is not a matter of compliment. I'll give him a gift. You have, go ahead and manage your own business. And when somebody is physically fit, and I see him every now and then coming back over and over, over and over, somebody was chasing me to my house, said, I know where you live. When I said, I just came out of the prayer, I'm sorry, I don't have my wallet. That's okay, I know where your house is. I'm coming with you. That I had to tell him off. You know, that was really silly. Because this person, people have warned me that, mashallah, he can work, he refuses to work. His family are well off, but he doesn't want to work. I'm not going to help him to be lousy and lazy. Go and work. Go and earn a lawful earning. Support yourself and your family. May Allah guide us what is best.